Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Thanks for joining us for the top headlines on this Tuesday. I'm Tiffany Lee. It's been two days since the deadly tornadoes hit Northwest Arkansas, and now community members are helping others however they can. Crews from Trailhead Roofing in Bentonville have worked nonstop since Sunday morning, tarping roofs for free. They're doing this to keep rainwater out of homes for the many people who saw severe roofing damage. They say seeing the damage is definitely shocking, but they're glad that they can help out. And some insurance companies have their teams all over Northwest Arkansas right now. We caught up with a State Farm representative driving around a customer response van. He says that if it's safe to do so, take a lot of photos and videos of the damage to your property to support your claim. He also recommends buying a tarp for your roof if it's damaged to prevent the rain from coming through. In the meantime, claims are racking up. As of midday Monday, we've had over 3,000 homeowners and auto claims just in Arkansas from the line of storms over the weekend. Depending on your type of plan, some of the things that you buy, like a tarp, could be reimbursed by your insurance company, so be sure to save your receipts. Meanwhile, Attorney General Tim Griffin is warning people about storm recovery scams. He says the barring of price gouging is now in effect after the declaration of a state of emergency. He also says that scams can be rampant when it comes to rebuilding. He warns people not to rush into a contract agreement and offered the following tips. Get more than one estimate. Demand references and check them out and never let a contractor pressure you into hiring them. He adds that you should never sign a contract with blanks to be filled in later. Never pay in full until the work is finished. Do not let a contractor discourage you from contacting your insurance company and make sure that you review and understand all documents that you send to your insurance company. The city of Rogers has announced more closures. The Rogers Public Library, Historical Museum and the Adult Wellness Center will be closed to the public today due to storm damage. The city is also reminding people that the parks and trails in Rogers will remain closed until they can get most of the debris cleaned up. We'll have details on resources for those in need in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and check in with Zach with a look at today's weather. Zach, a lot of people cleaning up today, so what do they need to look out for? Yeah, uh, we are going to have the chance for some spotty showers in northwest Arkansas, over Decatur, Centerton, Bentonville, uh, Rogers, War Eagle, parts of Madison, Carroll counties. These areas right here, we're going to have the chance for some spotty downpours today. So hopefully we can get as many of those tarps on those houses that we can uh, before some of these spotty showers move in. I think our chances will be from mid-morning into the afternoon hours. Can't roll out a spotty downpour in northwest Arkansas. Some showers try to skirt us off towards the south. I think we'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky at times as we get into our morning and afternoon. Isolated to scattered shower chance is going to continue with the pattern that we're in. We'll have that rain chance through the rest of the work week. Could see a little bit more of a more organized system uh, moving straight into five country. We're on the edge of it the next couple days, but could see it move more into five country as you go into Friday, Saturday time frame. Maybe a little bit better chance and then some more isolated to scattered showers can't be rolled out Sunday into early next week. Thanks for that, Zach. Well, hundreds, if not thousands of people from around the area have come together this week to help those in need. Five News reporter Parker Abels met with some of those people about how they felt the calling to step up. When devastation happens in a community, it's important for people to come together and help one another. And a great way to do that is through food. And people from across northwest Arkansas have been doing just that including Goat Lab Brewery and Bienvenue, who came together to bring food, AC, and Wi-Fi to those impacted by the storms. I've always thought that anytime you have the opportunity to give to the community, you should give to the community. And this is one of those times where Rogers needs help. Those businesses believe since the community supports them, they need to do the same. We're from here. We're all local from here. Uh, we built our business based off of uh, local people coming into our business. So being able to give back is yeah, it's a, it's a tenant of what we do. And as restaurant owners, they thought, what better way to impact their community than with what they know best? The, the way I know how to impact is uh, directly to the community with food. You know, that's kind of what chefs do. They feed people. And they feel so grateful they're in a position to help. Just seeing the, the help that you give, you know, that we give the people. It, 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 people were like tearing up and crying. My wife was crying. I mean, it just, I don't know, it just feels real good to, to help somebody in need like that. However, they aren't the only ones giving through food. Many businesses and churches are doing the same as well, including Tyson and New Life Church in Fayetteville. The pastor at New Life says there is one silver lining. 
It's watching so many people who have never met each other before step up to help when it's needed most. I've been so encouraged by this community, uh, the way that it's rallied together, all the churches, all the nonprofits, uh, people that have been affected by the tornado are actually serving as well. It's important because without community, uh, we have nothing. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Parker Abel's 5 News. Thanks for that, Parker. Well, we do have a list of resources available to storm victims as the recovery moves forward. You can do that right on our website, 5newsonline.com. You can also get a link taking you there by texting recovery to 479-785-5000. You can also get details on how you can help storm victims in Benton County. Those are some of your top headlines on this Tuesday. You can catch up with us again tomorrow for more. Have a great day.